Hello everyone, this is Karan here. You are welcome to Tech Karan YouTube channel. And today in this video, I'm going to take a look at the review of Pixel Experience based on Android 10. And this is the unofficial build of this room. Unfortunately, the official support for this room is not available now. I have made a review, already made a review on the official room also. You can go and check out. But uh, it's good, it's better to try the unofficial build because it will be updated soon and soon and soon again and again. But the official build is not available now and it is not working for anyone and i don't think so they will support redmi note 8 for pixel experience so it's better you should use the unofficial build of pixel experience if you want to try it on your device so let's take a look now wait let me set first now let's take a look on this room i will show you everything let's go straight to the video Okay, so here first of all take a look at the launcher first in home settings you get the option of add icon home screen display google app to the left of the main home screen you can see here and uh, home screen rotation about when you go to about app info you see this is the pixel launcher inbuilt default here and in home screen you get other options like widgets and styles and wallpapers when you get styles and wallpapers you go to the pixel wallpapers you get latest pixel 4 wallpapers in this room which is a good thing you can just click on this set wallpaper you can set it home screen and lock screen and see the wallpaper is changing and it's looking good when you swipe right here you get the google feed with the latest news with the weather update and all other things available and working great working perfectly okay after that let's move down to the quick settings panel here you have the options of quick settings here and you can customize them according to your preferences also when you click here you have no options of resetting the columns and other things as a pixel experience custom home is uh, without of customizations if you have ever used a pixel room then you can uh, understand that this room has the feeling of stock uh, stock android so just go and check it out and now let's move on to other things what you get in this room is first of all the camera you get the simple snapdragon camera here but yes you can use google camera but google camera 7.0 or 7.2 none is working the working one is google camera 5.1 and uh, the manual google camera 5.1 is working with the working portrait mode front and back both things i have made a video and i have uploaded the google camera to my google drive and the website so you can go and download from there also now let's move on to other things what you get in this room is you get google apps all google apps inbuilt and every google app is perfectly working you can go to play store and update all those apps you get the other things like safety which is a good thing only uh, this app is only available in google pixel 4 and these are the pixel 4 apps available with recorder the recorder app is working great you can go and record and transcript also which is a good thing and uh, now let's move on to other things you can see the animations the animations are working smooth and uh, now let's move on to other things the gestures are working also let me show you google assistant when you click here you get this google assistant and it is working perfectly you can go and try it out when you swipe from here you can also get the google assistant here and swipe up and you get this reasons and menu now let's move on to settings straight away in settings you get the option of network and internet and here you have the option of uh, sims wi-fi mobile network etc when you go to mobile network Airtel and using and you can use Volti, Volti is perfectly working wait let me show you when we call 121 okay and you can see Volti is properly working you can also see the Wi-Fi calling option is working here I am doing a Wi-Fi call here with Wi-Fi option available and uh, Wi-Fi calling is working properly the option is available you have to enable this manually by going into settings mobile networks Airtel 
and here you have the option of Wi-Fi calling just click here you, you have to on this from here I have already selected enabled it then I will be able to use Wi-Fi calling and you will also be able to use Wi-Fi calling and Wi-Fi calling is working perfectly great no issues are there volt is properly working okay now let's go back and uh, go to other things in battery section you have the option of these things with battery percentage you get the option of battery percentage okay now uh, let's move on back in when you go to display you have the option of brightness level night light and uh, adaptive brightness is there if you enable it if it has the option of styles and wallpapers you can change you can customize according to your own and we can also make our own custom theme and like i change this to these fonts okay this fonts i select and i select these icons next let me choose icon color the green one looks nice just click on next and choose the shape of icon the shape icon of shape of icon is good just click ok you can name your own theme like this you can you can create your own theme just click on apply and theme is applied you can see the tiles look now green here you can see the icons and these are working great here you can see the quick setting panel is clean now you can change any color and you can also see the fonts are changed you can look at this the fonts are changed so the theming is perfect and it is working great when you go to again here you know even change the wallpaper from here and it has many categories of wallpapers available dark theme is here and properly working you can see i'm already using the dark theme but if we disable it and you can see now you know light is uh, perfect now now let's move to other things screen timeout font size and other things everything double tap to is there and uh, it is perfectly working as always which is a good thing now let's go back again other thing which you get in sound panel you get also vibrate for calls and other things you get the dial pad tones the screen locking sounds charging sounds and vibration touch sounds and touch vibration now let's go back again when you go to privacy you have the option of show password lock screen device personalization services available okay and google location service history ads are available you can opt out of ads personalization if you don't want to receive ads according to your personalization okay now let's move on back what other things you get is uh, okay, location working screen lock fingerprint everything is working with the option of security update you can just go and check for update and your system is up to date just click on check for updates and you can update your security patch from inbuilt security update which is a good thing also you can update your google play store by just checking for update here your device is up to date okay now let's go back fingerprints are set up properly working great now accounts accessibility digital well-being you have the option of these things parental controls and show your data digital well-being just click on here you have the option you are using a beta version of digital well-being and it is working great other options are available you have the focus mode option also available which is a good thing you can use focus mode and uh, parental controls options are available so which you can set up uh, I don't think so this option you get in official pixel experience room so it is good to use pixel experience unofficial room unofficial build let's go to system you have the option of languages and input gestures jump to cameras system navigation you can see the two button navigation three button navigation but I use gesture navigation it looks nice and it works perfectly so now let's go back again here you have the option of developer options and in developer options you can enable the usb debugging like i have enabled i will make a separate video on which developer options you should enable etc so make sure to watch that also so this was all from this how to install simply just go and install the room file and then format data and reboot i have already made a separate video on how to install android 10 based custom room so make sure you watch that video and that's all from today's video i hope you like it thanks for watching and goodbye see you in the next video goodbye